Now that we have our mailer in place, let's take a look at the rake tasks that we need. And to do that, you can come down to lib and tasks. And you see right here, we have our notification rake right here. And one thing I like and why we have this set up the way we do is that notification doesn't just talk about SMS messages. It can also be email messages. So I can actually copy all of this paste it down here. Obviously, I will get rid of this, all these comments, because we don't need those. But I'm going to say sends mail notification, and I'm going to get rid of this, to managers. I'm going to put admin users, because that's the same thing uh, in terms of what we need it for. So send mail notification to managers each day to inform of pending overtime requests. And here what I'm going to put in is manager email. So now watch what happens if, let's just test this out. I'm gonna hit clear and say bundle exec rake dash capital T. And if everything worked, we should see our new notification manager mailer right here or available to us. Okay, we didn't get an error, so that's good. There we go, notification manager email. If you wanna take it one step further and test it out, we could say puts, I'm in the manager email. Now to run it, I'll say bundle exec rake notification manager email and that is right yep send that or run that and it should just print out what we requested it to print out there we go i'm in the manager email okay so now let's get rid of that and talk about what we need to do here I'm going to do the same thing with comments. So I'm going to say we're going to iterate over the list of pending overtime requests. So that means if we go to post RB, so that means that any requests that are marked as as submitted but are not approved or rejected then uh, if that's the case then we're going to email the managers and let them know that they have people that they need to email so that I mean that's or to check in on it's pretty straightforward let me close out some of these other files we don't need these I don't need that one uh, I don't I'll keep it open just so I have it yes no, 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 and no. Okay, so we want to iterate over the list of pending overtime requests. Then, secondly, we want to iterate over, uh, no, we're going to, then I'm skipping a little bit ahead. This should be three. So number two should be check to see if there are any requests then I'm going to iterate over the list of admin users slash managers and then we're simply going to send the email to each admin and so that is it it's pretty straightforward so when I come across things like this I usually like to uh, run them first through the console. So I'm going to say Rails C right here. And I'm going to test this out. Okay. So let's see. Let's first create a list of posts. So I'm going to say posts and, or let's be more descriptive. Let's say, or pending posts. And then I'm going to say post dot uh, no, it should be submitted and I'm kind of crossing yeah I don't like that 
Not that it really matters. We obviously this isn't real code. This is just what we're going to be running it through. But post submitted. Okay, so that's cool. So if I say something like if submitted posts count is greater than zero, then I want you to put and just say that. There you go. Okay, so it prints that out and that's perfect. We don't really care about what's inside of it. We just want to make sure that we have access to it. And that's that's it. That's really easy. So I'm just going to grab this line of code here. So I'm going to say submitted posts and it's going to grab that list of submitted posts and so that takes care of step one. And now I'm going to create a conditional. So I'll say if submitted posts dot count is greater than zero, then I want you to email each of these people. So then I'll say admin user all dot each. In fact, I, I don't really like that. Let's put uh, admin users. in a variable just because I it, it's considered a bad practice to you run a true database query right here uh, in the middle so that would be a uh, just it would just would look weird and I don't really like it okay so now I'm gonna say admin users each do and then I'll say admin and then we're simply gonna call our manager mailer email pass in admin dot email and then close it out we do have to put here dot oh, hey keep on when say delete for some reason deliver later okay i believe this should work let's and this uh, the one thing about working with mailers it works differently in the local environment compared with the production one so if we run into a few errors that i know are only because it's in that environment i'm not going to worry about it but let's get the rail server going and we'll see what happens when we run this because this is going to be something i'll set the scheduler up so this will run like every of every night at like five o'clock or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that our server is running. There we go. And now inside of another terminal window, I can say rake, not DB, uh, rake notification manager, I believe it's manager email, right? Yeah, manager email. And I'm running that. And we should see if everything works on this. Uh, it should come through. I believe it would come through here. Let's see. Okay, so what didn't it like about that? Okay, so undefined method email. Okay, admin email. Oh, I'm doing a dumb thing. Notice what I did here. Here I'm calling for the manager. So we have to pass in the manager object and I skipped ahead and I was actually passing in the email. Okay, let's hit clear, run it again. See if that fixes it. I probably also should have put some debugging, like some console output or something like that, because technically this should run and it wouldn't even show anything. Okay. Okay. And this, where it says uh, refuse to connect on port 25, this should actually be fine. Um, let's see. It didn't send anything in here, but I'm pretty sure that that is actually just something specific to the local environment and like i said i don't i'm not really too worried about it because 
it's a uh, locally things work differently. So uh, I don't really even see that as an error. It's just the way it is. Um, let's see. I don't, the, when I, there's something just on a side note, I'm not being lazy with this. This is just something whenever I run into something I've run into a million times and especially with mailers, uh, if it doesn't work locally, but I know it's going to work uh, once it gets pushed up and the only issue is how my configuration is set up locally, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll fix it later. So let's see. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I'm going to try one thing really quick. Let's change that to deliver now. I'm going to run it again. Because the port 25, that may have been something related to deliver later. It means usually something inside of a background job. And so I want to, when I'm looking through this air, I want to make sure that that's not what the cause is. Because that would cause a problem yeah, on production. Okay, so it is up and running. Let's run it one more time. Okay, and it's the same thing. It's just this connection refused, and just for the sec sake of debugging it, usually I wouldn't do this, but because I don't like to hand you guys off code or anything that doesn't work, we'll actually do it here. So you can see <laughs> we're not the first people to run into this. This happens a lot. So uh, this it all has to do with the configuration settings. Our code itself is actually working. And so right here, be sure you have your configured report correctly. Uh, this is for if we set our mailer up to work locally. Let's see, and then this one. Yep, pretty sure this is like exactly what we have in development. RP. Yep. Okay, these are all dealing with deployments on production, which if it happens in production, we can test that out there, but I'm gonna take a look at just a couple more. Yeah, see, this is all dealing with having to actually set this up locally, and right now it's such a small feature, I'm really not too concerned about setting it up locally because the end of the day, I'm going to have to set it up on production. So that's where I typically like to typically like to test it out. So let's just save this and then we'll finish this implementation when it's actually pushed up to the development server onto Heroku. So I'll say built rake task for sending emails, get push. Okay, in the next video and next section, it's an exciting one, we are going to start actually deploying to the web and seeing this work in real life. So I'll see you then.